Hello lovely plant people, my name is Winnie Luthien Tai. Welcome to the first episode of my new series where I take you to visit my friends whom I've met sharing plant stories on social media. Now although our friendships have started because of the love of plants, but we are more than just the plants that we share on Instagram. Of course we are. So in the coming weeks, my friends have so kindly invited us into their homes, sharing their spaces, their stories, and of course their plants. This week, we are visiting Jane, a photographer, a world traveler, and a friend of plants. Welcome to My Space, My Plants. While I was oogling at all her aeroids, Jane excused herself for five minutes to process some orders that she had received that morning on her online shop. Besides plants, her home is filled with all sorts of treasures, vintage collectibles, lovely old journals. I love her deco style too. A bit of industrial chic can never go wrong, right? Our deco style is very similar so. So you do journaling as well, right? Yeah, I journal. Okay, my side hobby or something. I just spotted that this old lamp and oh. the and the theatre glasses. I got this from London. London, London had carry back. Wow. <laughs> carry back by myself. Which uh, species is your favourite? Philo? It's the easy, easiest to easy. This grow. one has so many people. This is a anthropo. I got it that when it was only just a just a stem, no wood. Okay. And only like one leaf, this leaf. Okay. And then I try to root it and put it inside here in this kind of medium. Then you go another two leaf. Anthropo. My first thought is, is how it? are you gonna take it out with one leaf? I don't know. I'm so scared. Like. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah, I got it as a chunk also, like no, trying to save it. It's like ICU one, but still growing. It's growing, so yeah. I just leave it first. The splendid, which is quite easy, surprisingly. There's mm. two splendid here. Mm. And then this is the, the real uh, dark form. Oh, this is the dark form. Okay. So, oh, so. yeah, I can see the dark, the dark leaf behind here. Yes. It's the only anthurium I have right now. All right. I used to have a few more. Okay. Then decided to sell them all just to keep it low. I'm not sure what this though, maybe it's like this kind of stain. Yeah, I get this too on my anthurium. I think it's normal lah, right? I actually have no idea. I don't know how to diagnose something like this. I thought that maybe like sometimes like cha chat the new leaf come out. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's a humidity problem or so maybe, maybe. Yeah, maybe. when it comes out, you may bother about it. And this one? El uh, yeah, El Choco. This is another El Choco. How many El Chocos do you have? Oh, now two. I used to have three. Then I sold it one. Okay. So one. So I'm left. No, I have three. I have three. Sorry. That's huge. I cut from here. Oh. Yes. Oh, this is. Yeah, I cut from here. Then here come out. This is a Glorism. Glorious. This totem set up. There's so many plants in there. Yes. There's one Glorious here, then there's a Marble Queen, yes. and there's a Manjula there which I just put last week. Mycons, yeah. and this Pinatum, very painted. This Pinatum is really pretty. So once they have something to climb, uh, they are like so fast. Like they... But this Sansilla is really good. Like. I saw Isn't on it? your YouTube. Straight away by. <laughs> I installed already, oh, straight away this Mycon is like... Oh my goodness, it's I, huge! I realized all the light, the leaf like broke out. So what, what are you, what's gonna happen after it reaches the top? It's gonna reach the top in s I, 5 inches. This one grows very fast than the rest, you know. That's why it's just here only. <laughs> yes, yes. 
see there's a lot of empty spot here. Actually, some plants are at the cafe, and some plants is also at my friend's house. I remember reading something about the cafe. What do you do in that cafe? I actually put some plants to sell there. Some for deco, some are for sale. For, for sale, you can buy one. <laughs> oh, okay. Where's that cafe? It's at Wild Street Home, section 17. Okay, we should visit. They have, they have coriander ice cream. I'm gonna try that. Coriander ice cream? Very good. <laughs> I'm doing this workshop where I can go to the house and teach them. Or they come to my house. Right now, right? Or we can do it in a group where in a space. How much are your workshops? Three fifty per bags, but each person will get three plants, three pots, soil, fertilizer is everything. Oh, that's so when I say if if I have six people sign up, six people times three plants, eighteen plants. So if you come next week, this whole place will be plants. What a nice collection! You have one more in your room, right? Yeah. Come, let's go to your room and have a look. Are those in your room your special, your very special ones so you sleep with them? <laughs> My goodness! No wonder they sleep with you. <laughs> All heavy weight species. A lot of people are looking for this, buying this uh, oh, yeah. parasol per day now. Isn't it? Isn't this one of the very hot plants now? Really? Yeah. How long have you got this plant? I think uh, I got it before lockdown. And this one, yeah, it's very nice. I it's love the, this batch. This very, I've seen others variegation also. also. Yeah, your variegation. This is okay, quite good. So this is a one year old size lah. The one year old, mm -hmm. you managed to grow it so huge yeah. Consider okay. small already, <laughs> indoor. Yeah, but it's indoor, you don't, I mean, you can't expect a lot from, yeah, from yeah, indoor. Yeah, yeah. But, True. You know. True. And the thing is, you can grow a, a, a a variegated plant indoor is so it's very good. Look look at the variegation, it's so beautiful with these burr marks. It's a peculiar, not lights. Mm. So they're all facing growing to one side. What uh what direction does your window face? Uh, it's an E, uh, north east. Uh. You get a morning sun. Yeah, morning sun. It's maybe now it's the brightest. Okay. Now it's the brightest. Then towards and it gets slightly dimmer but still okay. So I provide blue light. Yeah, yeah. Why is this girl not on? Okay, let me own it. Ah, oh, look at <laughs> She's doing that special thing again. That tacky Could thing. Usually it will on at 3pm. Then I just on for you lah. Ta-da! <laughs> the only indoor problem I have is... The past problem is ants. But I always name them lah. Name. You name them. <laughs> name them. I will use neem spray to spray them weekly. Okay. Like really like up down. And then they will they will die the first batch first, then they will still come back when the second batch of ants will come back. But your Billetier looks really really healthy and big. Yeah. This is a new ship coming out. Can't wait. That is huge. It's like it's gonna be big. It's gonna be big. But it's quite easy to care. It is, it is. Oh. One of the easier ones. Indoor suits indoor, I think. Yes. I realize all this 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 kind of beauty is even easier than most I <laughs> Agree with you. All these plants like Billetier and then the Rugosum, ah, they, they work yeah. very well indoor. Florida, all that. Yes, correct. Like Squamiferum. Yes. Like Monstera is not considered easy. Monstera, no. It's... Monstera is more light than that, I realize. The only thing about this uh, Billetier is the growth pattern. I don't really like it. It likes to spread uh, out, right? Use a lot of space. Use right? a lot of space, so it's not very good for condominiums. So no Mickey Mouse ear, I won't buy you. Yeah, I'm a Mickey Did Mouse ear so fan. <laughs> this what Max Mexicana? No. Yeah, Mexicana. Mexicana. I got it from. I bought this online, like only like fifty bucks or that, I think. What now? No, way before lockdown. It was I'm, cheap. I mean, all the 50 bucks, 50 bucks, no need to think already now. No, no, yeah, I think it's like 200, maybe a few leaves, like 200 over, 300 over, maybe. I have a Florida Beauty. I got this, like, uh, when I swap, I swap with a friend, uh, with a Jose Bono. I think the, when the variegation come out, right, it's not that strong. The longer you wait, right, it becomes even very obvious. Like you see, there's variegation here. But you can't see now, you can't tell now. This is a Philodendron Maximum or Maximum. <laughs> this is beautiful. You can, you can get very big on it. 
once you're able to climb. So I'm waiting for it. The top cutting, I got it. The guy, wow. my friend just like straight away cut. They give me. <laughs> Now I'm using a lot of Jaco Malaysia liquid gold. Do you do foliar fertilizer? F foliar? F but yes. Yeah. Okay, the foliar one once a week, liquid one also maybe once a week or sometimes two weeks. I usually forget to fertilize my plants. Huh? Yeah, I always forget. I'm like, I just fertilized it. Then I see the, the calendar is like four weeks ago. No. <laughs> I love my friend, she put MSG. I think because also got some magnesium salt inside as well. Or oh, maybe it's Uncle Roger. Uncle Roger <laughs> recommendation. <laughs> My area here came quite high. Wow. Okay. So this so one they're doing okay. Okay, so when you're on the aircon, does the humidity drop how much? 50 something? The humidity never dropped below 40. So it's cool. always around 70 something. So during end of the year it's 80 something. What's your routine usually? Every morning when I wake up, right? Yeah. First thing I do is open the windows. It's done every morning. If I miss three, four times per day, right, then I walk three, four times. <laughs> <laughs> I think back in 2016 when I just moved in here, I got my first ficus tree plant. I just want it as a decor. Then I buy it and then it, it lasted for one year only. <laughs> I feel like such a failure of buying and then kill it. I travel a lot and when I was in Europe right I saw a lot like imported plants. And then I realized like maybe I should get it for my photos. I mean when I come back so I can take more photos of it with my interior. It's just a prop. And then also thanks to COVID lockdown I get even more plants. Starting to know more plant friends I think we all like kind of poison each other to get aeroids and then it just happened like, like that, suddenly become like that. Since I'm doing workshop right, I'm teaching people, don't, I will tell them like don't buy them as a prop. You must always research that first. I don't get alocasia because I know that it doesn't suit indoor. But a lot of new plant parents, they don't know what. They think it's very beautiful for photos and they also want them to buy and then kill it and then they feel like a failure. <laughs> then I will tell them, start for my workshop. <laughs> So uh, the most recent place I went right before lockdown, I went to Faroe Islands. Do you know where is it? You know ah? Oh, it's next. It's near to Iceland. So this couple actually booked me. <laughs> so I went there to take. I was with them for a few days. Always work first. Of course, my work is always first. So Faroe Island was just one of it. That whole trip happened in field, like two months. I went to Copenhagen, Faroe Island, Scotland, London, and came back Malaysia, like a one trip. So this few trip all were couple. So the furthest, the most far is Faroe Island. Huh? Wow. That's like the best place. I love that place. Hello, jaylee.com. All good things must end. It was finally time to leave. But before I go, I had to ask Jane to show us her cute little guinea pigs. Jane, thank you so much for having us here today. Yay, no problem, no problem. Come and get anytime you want. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Why you follow me? Uh? Why you have to hug your blood so much, man? Bye, Jane. I'm back in my little sanctuary. Can't you tell? I had such a wonderful time at Jane's place, looking at all her vintage collection, all her plants, and of course getting to know her better. What a multi-talented person she is. And she's so adorable, you can't help but laugh a bunch when you're with her. That was so much fun. If you'd like to follow Jane, I have linked her social media accounts in the description box below. And don't forget to give a like and subscribe to this channel, and click the notification button for future notifications. Thank you so much for watching this week. Please join me next week for a new episode of My Space, My Plants. Bye!